can you tell us about the film and, and your role? Are you a director with it within the, the festival? Um, I'm the director of a film, a documentary called They Will Have to Kill Us First, emblazoned oh. on my arm. <laughs> um, it's a documentary about what happened when music was banned in Mali, in West Africa. In 2012, the Islamic jihadists took over the entire north of the country and banned all forms of music. Musicians had to go on the run, they were in hiding, they were in exile, and our film follows the life of musicians as they are on the run and their attempts to bring music back to the country. So um, it's a punk rock film about some punk rock African musicians who basically are saying no to censorship and are saying no to violence. And can you tell us a bit more of the, of the reasons why the, this censorship was imposed? It's the, the jihadists who took over the north of the country imposed a very, very strict interpretation of Sharia law. And this is something that we're seeing in many, many countries around the world right now. And I think it's a very confusing topic. I don't think people really understand why this is happening and why this is happening now. And something that our film does is sort of go into the details a little bit about who these people are, why they took over the north of the country, and why they're using religion as a way to control the people. And the musicians are very, very candid about their feelings about the jihadists, and it has put them in danger. Um, but they're incredibly brave, and we're so lucky that they allowed us to spend a couple of years with them in Mali as they were fighting. And I imagine as well that they're having your film in the festival, being able to spread the word globally about this issue must be incredibly important to you. It's so important to be here at the festival. We are a tiny team, but we are a scrappy team, and our voices are so loud. And, you know, a festival like this can really shine a light on the issue. And we are overjoyed to be you know, in this festival with so many wonderful films. And we really just want people to see this film, to feel moved, to feel inspired, and to really understand this story, which is not the usual narrative that's coming out of Africa. 